Ladies and gentlemen, we're live on SNA from the Milloy Rugby Center here in San Juan as we bring you match number eight in the women's volleyball tournament of your season 79 UAAP. Officiating this match, our first referee, Romolo Reforzado, National Referee. Our second referee, Mark Anthony Santos, National Referee. Let us now meet the Sutters, beginning with the reigning and defending women's champions, Delosaw Lady Spikers. Number 13, Eduque Alonsanya. Number 15, Tid Yamzon. Number 2, Desiree Cheng. Number 10, Matoy Padon. Number 11, Kim Kiana T. Team Captain number 9, Kim Pajardo. Early middle, number five, Don Macandili. And the head coach of the Lady Spikers, Romeo De Jesus. And now, starting with the season's volleyball hosts, the USC Tigresses. Number 17, Shannon Pollack. Number seven, Alina Vicar. Number 18, Rhea Menezes. Number six, Pam Lassimosa. Number nine, E.J. Lolly. Team captain, number 16, Ceci Rompina. Early middle, number 11, Patty Rosmo. And the head coach of the Tigresses, Emilio Pupu Reyes Jr. No touching the winning lineup for uh, Coach Ramiro de Jesus. For Coach Kupu Reyes, one tiny adjustment as Alina Bigar will start at uh, center for uh, the Tigresses in place of Alex Capanos, who started in that loss against Ateneo. What are the differences for you, uh, Anne, between Alina and uh, Alex, the way they set up the offense for the uh, Tigresses? Well, I think this time around, what Coach Kung Fu is looking for is variety lang when it comes to uh, plays, you know, and maybe agility of uh, Bicar also is something that could help them against Lasal. Yung isa pa dyan. Malamang din na uh, ang napag-aralan ng Lasal, si Cabanos yung uh, unang magsiset. That could be a possibility because in that last game, it was actually uh, Cabanos that started for them. But a poor reception to start off. Set number one gives an easy point to DLSU. Well, you're happy if you're Lasal that Kim Pajardo, who was suffering from uh, plantar fasciitis, two weeks prior to the season is A-OK. -okay. Mm -hmm. And playing in her final season, she's saying, Para naman makalma yung kanya mga rookie, she's saying cargo ko sila, dapat wag silang kabahan. And obviously, that's a big help if you're a second-year, first-year player for the Lady Spikers. Oh, definitely. And uh, yun nga, no, in their first game, Boom and I were observing Kim. Kasi nga, tinitignan namin kung meron bang signs of pain. But the way she played, actually, there was no sign of that injury. Good rally here, fighting for the second point of set number one. That's Ooh. too strong. Uh, is there a check ball? No check. Hard-fought point for UST as they equal in at one all here in set number one. Let's go to Bea Escudero. Eric and Anne, after winning against the SU Lady Camarals in three straight but close sets just last Sunday, the DLSU Lady Spikers are only hopeful to keep their optimism alive this afternoon. Now, given the opportunity to talk to Coach Ramil De Jesus, he expressed that the team may have won their first game this season. However, they have yet to show their complete confidence on the floor. Now, in preparation for their game against USD, the Lady Spikers are only seeking to redeem themselves after losing to the same team in the Unigames just last year. So, with Team Cap 
Cap can give the hard work taking the lead this time around. We can expect the girls to bring everything on the floor, stay focused, and play with maturity and heart. That's all for now. Back to you, Eric and Anne. All right, thank you, Bea. Well, the reason, well, I wouldn't say the reason, but Kim Fajardo didn't play in that loss uh, by La Salle against USD in the uni games. That could have been a factor, mm -hmm. perhaps. Oh, definitely. Oh, oh. Knowing how uh, Kim Fajardo really drives the plays of uh, La Salle. Oh, but right now, it's uh, Tim Tiamzon driving the offense of La Salle. Two of the three points of the Lady Spikers coming from Tiamzon. And how good is that for the confidence of, of Tiamzon? After missing her first attempt, she gets two sets coming from Fajardo. And that's what you have to love about Fajardo. She really thinks about her teammates, iniisip niya how they can gain back their confidence. Hindi yung dahil nag ka, okay, ko sa iba. But, I mean, they need that. Eh. You need to recover right away. Oh, but Maslimosa, coming back from an ACL injury from last season, playing at 100%, gets it through. Duke Ogunsanya's block, 3-all. Set number one, let's go to Angelique Banto. Eric and Anne, Coach Kofu is not taking first game jitters as a valid excuse for the outcome of the Golden Tigers' match against the Lady Eagles. Alam nyo, pagkapasok na pagkapasok pa lamang sa dugout, matapos ang larong yun, ay ramdam na ramdam na agad ang level of frustration na meron sa buong koponan, lalong-lalo na kay Coach Kofu. But we cannot blame him for he knows the potential and capacity of his players and he even admitted that that was not the performance of the team he knows. Compensating for this, perhaps it's not sufficient for me to fully emphasize how intense or military like their trainings were this past week coupled by heart to heart and pep talks for the team now with these regroup tigresses they are not looking on to who their opponents are but instead their added mindset coming to this match that losing should never be an option eric and Anne. all right thank you angelique i like the term military i know nakakatakot yung term pero I mean, I suppose ito si Coach Kung Fu rin, syempre, he's been, you know, doing this right. for years and he's been exposed then sa mga ganyan. So, military-like training, ah. <laughs> How would you describe the training when, when you were playing at? Oh, Coach Rami was very strict. Would, would you go to the level of, that was a PLDT Ultra fun serve, by the way, and uh, ace. Uh, but going back to the question, was that military-like as well during your time? When I was still a player, I would consider it grabe naman po. Oh, military, <laughs> military type, ano? Dahil syempre, if you're a player, palaging isip ko, pinapahirapan kami ni coach. Dami drills, you know? Dami drills. Twice a day training. <laughs> Lastimosa rejected. Nice pick up by Rasmo. Laure backs up. Attacks. Picked up by Makadili. Ogunsanya, that's still alive. Laure again. Oh. And Laure hits. Very good read by Laure. And that's a Gatorade spike of the game from EJ Laure. And coming off a 17-point performance and she's picking up where she left off. And, and you see the adjustment with, with how Laure is, is playing. Yung unang target niya, cross court. Next time around, she aimed for that down-the-line attack. How much has EJ Laure improved for, for the people watching? who have not been able to appreciate as Obunsanya scores for Lasat. How much has she improved this season compared to last? Well, I think, uh, you know, coming into uh, the UAAP, collegiate level of UAAP, we saw already how talented she is. But it's really all about the maturity that she's gained. So, malayo eh. It, we've seen that, how she uh, was the top scorer in their last game. So, yung nadadala mo yung team mo, that's a very, very big uh, improvement for Laure. Bikar. Makandili was right there. Ogunsanya. Good effort by Rodina and Lare, but Ogunsanya as well. I mean, such athleticism and such confidence. A very young UAAP career, and Sometimes for, it, for these athletes, confidence, you know, it really, really helps you play a good game. Nice serve. Lare. Wow. Through a double block, Mahandili was right there. Great defense, but better defense at the net by Shannon Palek against uh, the Desiree Cheng attack. Look at this, well timed. Okay, it's good that USD is really keeping at pace with uh, the Lady Spikers. Oh, that's going to be long. That's exactly what they did against Ateneo. They kept it step, but uh, 
Let's see if they can overcome a two-point deficit after the first technical timeout of set number one. Lasan up, 8-6. Back here at the arena in San Juan, let's take a look at uh, the career of Libero Don Bacandili and uh, her output against that uh, win by Lasal versus FEU. Team high of 11 points, team high 13 receptions, of course. Itong uh, si Don is a much celebrated uh, Libero, definitely helping Lasal a lot in uh, with, with their defense. Chao Cruz in attendance here, along with Demisilio, right? Uh, Makatili out of uh, De La Salle Zobel from Tanawan, Batangas, uh, playing in her fourth season. Standing five, just exactly five foot flat. But such tremendous coverage on the floor. And we can see that early here with the way she covered the attacks of EJ Laure. Uh, those are not easy. Sometimes we wonder, well, Adam and Shadon, it's not just about being a good defender, it's about reading, you know, the, the offense on the other side as well. Father of uh, EJ, watching. Must be a Always very here. proud dad. Always. I mean, I have yet to see a USD game it's where the Laures are not here. And Rodina, and this is a girl that needs to really be active here, as uh, you just saw. A McFreeze, or you're looking at a McFreeze instant replay. I mean, after nine points, uh, I guess we can we can safely say and uh, nine points surely isn't enough for us for the talent of Cece Rodina. And we've seen her do more than just nine points. But uh, you know, sometimes there are off days also for these uh, players. Laure unable to dig up the Baron attack. But that's that's the thing. If you're one of and uh, Rondina is the team captain of USD. That's one big problem. If you're one of the key players, it's you're not allowed to have an off day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately, if you're one of the key players like EJ Laure and CC Rondina, here's uh, Rondina. Oh, she, she heard us. Just showing us. What I love about Rondina is really the leaping ability. And that really helps her. Look at that. Go up against the tall blockers from the sun. Bigar, the starting setter for USD, looking to take the lead here at 9 all. Set number one. She's a good server, mm -hmm. Anina Bigar. So far, has done well also for USD. Rasmo, an underrated Libero, picks it up. Lastimosa is blocked. Rasmo. Rondina through the block of Fajardo and Baron. How tough is that? Yeah, it's very tough, but again, that's Rondina for you. That's so much energy every time she leaves. Look at this and the approach. Ibabo, Ibabo, Sabola. I don't know. That's a fudge bar, O bar, Sasaya, and Rondina. Fudge bar, O bar, Sasaya. Here's Tiamzon, cross, Rasmo is there, and again, Rasmo such a great libero as well. Rondina, that's kept alive by Fajardo. Picar underhand, Lastimosa across. Fajardo, Tiamzon. Oh, Rasmo was right there, he just couldn't dig it up. Tiamzon getting good timing on that attack. And Tiamzon extremely active on offense for a DLSU in this game, if it was Baron who was doing most of the heavy lifting in the last game, and it's Tiamzon right now in the first set, getting the touches from Fajardo. It's uh, good to see that balance. Yeah. Of course, you want to see each and everyone contribute. That was such a quick play. Even the quickness of Laure, unable to cope with the attack of Baron. Let's take a look at how in a split second, the ball was in the air and already hit by Baron. And USD could not adjust. Lasal up by one, 11, serving 10. Service ace. That is brought to you by BLED Ultra Fun Serve. Lasal up by two, 12, 10. Let's listen to USD. 
problema natin, umaayaw kayo sa block. Bibitawan nyo, hindi kung sumisilip ang, ang setter nila sa kabila, bibitawan. Tato kayo, nakapatay ng block natin. Bakit may isa walang sumasabay sa gitna? Ngayon, sa kabila, sa kabila, dadalo mo. Iiwanan natin. Kaya pagsasabay naman, dalo, iiwanan naman natin yung isa. Kung meron isang gitna na umaatake, may kailangan may, may sumasabay. Meron pang dalawa tayong tao, di ba? Bakit ayaw mo mag-block? Oo, oh, anong oo. Oh. Well, Coach Kukfu pointed it out, and what's the problem? How uh, how come USD can't cope with the blocking? Well, right now, hinahanap ni uh, Coach Kungfu, no, sabayan nila yung uh, middle spikers ng uh, DLSU. Two point lead, 12 10. Lasal, almost a dunk there. Meneses. The block was there. But Tiamson has built up so much confidence after scoring Medina. It's it's tough to just send one back. And credit uh, Fajardo also, you know, for, for that uh, confidence that we see in Tiamson. She has, she has a swagger already. Jaja Santiago, Lady Bulldogs. Just watch oh. it, by the way. Just watch it because they didn't have a game today. But so far, what a what a start for National University. Yeah, what can you what can you say about the Lady Bulldogs and the way they kicked off season 79? Of course, a lot of people um, expect a lot from Jaja Santiago, but overall, one of the teams na inaabangan ng mga tao is definitely uh, NU powerhouse team. You think they got a day off today? That's why they're watching. Because they, they're, they're, doing doing their, they're doing their homework. So coach Maybe yeah. Coach Rogers sent them here yeah. to do their homework. So <laughs> gotta watch it live, this guys. Is work. <laughs> this is work. I thought it was like a day off from training. <laughs> 14 11. Lasal. Good recovery by Fajardo. <laughs> and they still get the point. And that's just pure hustle uh -huh. for Lasal. You just have to make the most out of it. It was just punched by Baron just to go over. And yun ang palagi na sinasabi ng mga coaches. For the players, never, never get your eyes off the ball. Rodina. Baron lifts it up for Cheng. Sorry, that's D. Here comes Rodina. Above the block. Woo! Baron unable to control the ball. Great adjustment by Rodina. This is where you marvel at the athleticism of Rodina. She jumps over Kim D and uh, Duke Ogunsanya. Ooh. But at the service line, there seems to be that uh, problem for Rodina. A couple of service errors for Rodina. And USD is down by 4, 16-12 against the defending champions. Isa Maizo, former Tigress of the University of Santo Tomas. Always for sure. There's Coach Roger going to have. So, hindi niya naman pinabayaan niya. Hindi naman, no. Pero, sinubahan niya. Scouting. Scouting. Hindi to pahinga. And there's Mosey Ravenna. Si Mosey. Wala rin game. Wala rin game si Mosey. Nandito. Checking out the action. All right, uh, toss up between the two setters of USD. Uh, we talked about this. The first game, that loss against Adamson, Alex Cabano started, then Alina Bigar starts today against the LSU. That's right. But you know, one one good thing that we see here in the lineup of USD, nakikita natin, Coach Kofu, may huhugutin at may huhugutin setters. Both of the setters na nabababad sa laro. So walang nagugulat pag, you know, if, if uh, you need to get them off the bench. Nice push by Laure. Well, there was no other play for that. The ball was too low, too far from her. But she made the most out of it. And what's good about the, what we're seeing from Laure and Rondina right now is they're really reading, you know, yung uh, depensa ng uh, Lasan. Nagahanap sila ng butas and sila makakapuntos. USD so far and unable to take the lead away from DLSU. How would you assess their performance so far? Here in set number one, Ooh. as Laure gets a point off the cross court. Well, mid of this first set, nahirapan yung USD dumepensa, and it has to do with uh, their blocking pattern, you know? so hindi na cover lahat ng areas. There's uh, Coach Kung Fu happy with that outcome. Uh, si Coach Ramil calls a timeout, we'll listen in. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 
dati rin ang ball, hindi dati rin ang ball ito. Maghahanap tayo, magpapasok tayo. Mag-anticipate tayo sa lahat ng ang ulo. Hindi mo pwedeng doon ka tayo nakapwes sa area natin. Maghanap. Kumalo tayo doon, anticipate. Well, there's uh, how you can tell. Let's take a look at uh, some men's players from USD. Jason Ramos. From back in the day, that's a throwback for you. Well, has it been three years? Yeah, I Since think the last so. Saw three years. Jason Ramos. Anyway, USD with uh, three service errors, and that uh, could have put them at the lead if they did not commit those. They're only down by two here. But that's, that's where you see the perfectionism. Me, Coach Ramirez. Yes. Dalawa pa lang yung or tatlo yung inahabol na kapuntos lang ng isang USD he calls the time out immediately he wants to put a stop at it right away and yung isa pa siya no it's just a, it's a basic reminders for the team because I think he's noticing that uh, USD is having an easy rather easy time really looking for the, those open uh, holes in their defense nakakailan na si EJ Laura down the line and they're unable to adjust some adjustments made by uh, coach Ramir De Jesus Luna will come in Replacing Cheng. Still cold off the bench, though. 16 all now, a three point run for the Tigresses. Looking more and more comfortable in this first set against the defending champions. Let's see if they can take the lead. We had a deadlock already in this first set, but uh, LaSalle able to retake the lead just like they do again this time. Kim D with a point. Look at this. Excellent offense there. And now Alex Cabanos will come in, replace Alina Bikar. 17 serving 16. Take a look at the attack, attack points. Just uh, a plus one for the defending champs. Cabanos sets it up to Palex, rejected by Ogunsanya. Cabanos too close to the net, and that's uh, put away by the setter slash spiker, Kim Fajardo. Seemed like a perfect uh, setup for Fajardo. Look at this. And then a four. No, it's like a vertical jump. Yeah. And that's really one of the advantages why a lot of the coaches now really opt for tall setters, apart from the fact that uh, it's added defense at the net, the open spiker yung uh, pinapalo niya, no? Mga ganyang opportunities yeah. din. But take a look at Laura, soar and score. Doesn't matter what area she's in, yeah. be it at the left side or the right side, Laura can score. Zoe Cortez, first time to see action, replacing Shannon Palek. Also another prolific uh, attacker is uh, Rui Cortez Santobal you're seeing on your screens from USD Carla Sandoval Fajardo tips it great save by Capanos uh, that did not cross the net for Pacres Dominique Pacres and USD down by two more substitution here for uh, Lasalle CJ Saga will come in for Duke Ogunsanya. Good reception by Rasmo Meneses with a tip. Ooh. Saga was right there, just could not control the ball. Not enough height. That good drop by Meneses. And that actually wasn't a good one. Good set for Meneses. She had to reach back for the ball. Just, you know, make the most out of it. Oh. Ponting tapik la. You can get it over. <laughs> oh, nice effort by Rasmo. It, uh, she could not keep the ball in play. There's a point by Mayang Luna. Came in to replace Cheng, but Cheng will come back as you take a look at the Luna. That great form by this young lady. Luna will sit down and Cheng will serve for LaSalle up by two.
How about LaSalle and how would you assess so far their performance in set number one? Uh, and they haven't had a dominant set so far, I mean, against FEU. They allowed FEU to score up until the 20-point 20, 20 range. And USD is just one point away from tying it again with LaSalle. Well, I think this is what uh, Coach Ramil is, is saying, you know, that he's still not satisfied with how the team is playing. Obviously, skill-wise, talent-wise, they have it. It's just all about the... Uh, you know, better execution on the floor, making sure that they get back to that point where uh, they are able to dictate the pace of the game rather than uh, allowing their opponents to, you know, keep in step or keep at pace. Oh, a free ball to the disgust of Coach Kufu Reyes. And there, they pay for that. As uh, Tiamzon scores, and Apo Pundera, Coach Kufu. But freeze instant replay. They got a free ball, USD, and then they gave back the free ball, which that was the result. Sometimes that's not sometimes. If you're against a team like Nasa, that's gonna be dangerous. Yeah, yeah that's coupled by a service reception error. Napa iling na lang si Coach Kumpu. He will call a timeout here instead of tying, which they were on the brink of doing 2019. Na tapakan na sila ngayon ng tatlo, and we will listen in to the Tigresses. And for sure, Coach Kufu, going back to that turning point where they got a free ball at 2019 with a chance to tie, and then they lost it and then lost two straight points. They're down by three. And uh, at this point, of course, we're only in the first set, pero delikado yun pagka yung kalaban mo umapak na sa 22. Matood nga na sabi ni Coach uh, Kung Fu, endgame na tayo. Oh, Rodina, babawe, but Pajardo was right there, making it look easy, the dig. Oh, a tip. Rodina kept it alive, but right into the reach of Majoy Baron. And this is uh, Baron being very alert at the net. Look at that. So 23-19, four-point advantage for the defending champs in set number one. Good serve by Fajardo. Raspo. Uh, here comes Rondina. Fajardo is right there. D. Raspo picks it up. Meneses, yes! Great play there for uh, USD. Now, is gonna serve. Raspo is out, so no libero for USD. Cortez is in. Now, Picar has Rondina, Lastimosa, and Cortez up front. Well, let's see who be... No, it's Cortez who sets it up for Rondina, who's blocked. Laure picks it up. Picar backs set Lastimosa. And that's out. Oh, oh wait a minute. There. Officials say check ball. It yes. Be a touch, yep. And Fajardo immediately goes to the first referee to confer. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. So Lastimosa goes up first. Can't tell if the fingers move there. But the call will stay, I believe. Wait a minute. Is there a timeout? Because, yeah, there's a timeout. Coach Ramil de Jesus will call one here as USD is within two. And we will listen to Lasal. Well, Coach Ramil referring to the proposal. Yeah. The challenge is to be returned to the UAP. It was sparingly used in season yeah. 75, if I remember. And uh, FIBA is thinking of bringing it back. How would you feel about the challenge system? That would be interesting, actually, if you see uh, Coach Villette Ponce de Leon. You like also it? Also watching. That would make things interesting, you know. 
uh, getting that uh, challenge uh, rule back. <laughs> oh, good blocking by USD that time. Set up job for D. D. Cross court. Picaris right there, smiling as she picks it up. Rondina. Good rally. Jamzon. Laure. Picar. Where did she go? Rondina. Through the block. Oh, oh Rondina scores. USD. Not giving up yet. Here's the first set. Well, this should be. A, this is a good rotation for uh, for USD. And you can see. The uh, strategy of Coach Kung Fu, nilabas na si Rasmo, no defense, but I put in Cortez. So they got three spikers up front with Rondina, Lastimosa, and Cortez. And then you got a back row option with Lauren. Ooh! But uh, these service errors. And you can hear the crowd saying, Oh, oh sayang! Right, the ball was in midair because they can see it was long. Now oh, it's uh, set point. Lasal. Leading by two. And USD had such a good run. You hey, thought, momentum. oh, may momentum na. But they're not uh, out of the woods yet, speaking of Lasal. Ogunsanya mm. tips it out of bounds. Good effort though, but uh, poor execution there. So Rondina to serve 23-24. Makandili picks it up. Pajardo back set. Kim D is blocked. D will try again. Through the block and right on the line. That's it for set number one. DLSU takes it 25-23. Take a look at the fans with the, the player banners right there. Appreciating the effort of a lady spikers. Uh, not another, not an easy set again for Alassal. Uh, it's a, just a two-point win versus USD. Just a two-point win for La Salle in set number one versus USC 25-23. And it was a set mostly controlled by La Salle with the spurts coming from USC here and there. And uh, the effort, the hustle for both teams were there. And you saw bodies on the floor, girls flying everywhere. A lot of power from Berthina, Atiamzon, Kim D, EJ Laure. But in the end, uh, a lot of a lot of the uh, unforced errors from uh, USD and the service aces from La Salle uh, really uh, were the factors this, that allowed La Salle to take away the first set uh, versus USD. Oh, that's right, and uh, we saw also how La Salle, you know, tried to gain back their con actually confidence was there all throughout, but. Uh, at the latter part, very, very consistent uh, DLSU, while uh, USD managed to keep at bay when it comes to offense, both of the teams scoring 15. Ito na yung sinabi natin, ano, blocking, uh, USD actually had one point. Uh, pagating sa service aces, uh, dito lumamang ang Lasal, they scored five uh, service aces in the first set. And uh, USD, on the other hand, we've seen quite a few errors also from them in the first set. So, ano yun? Libring uh, puntos agad yun uh, para sa Lasal. They didn't have to work hard for those seven points. And uh, let's see kung makakabawi ngayon Eric ang uh, USD here in the second set. Well, we heard Coach uh, Kung Fu Reyes, uh, as you see, Makandili saved that. And uh, Paron with an error straight to the net, but a little lapse here from Lasal at the beginning. Cheng allowed that ball to sail behind her, uh, which forced Makandili uh, to save. But going back to Coach Kung Fu Manina, she pointed out Cici Rondina, uh, one of the uh, 
players who committed service errors para sa USD na sinabi niya, be ready. Pag parating yung bola, dapat nakababa ka na, hindi yung pagdating sa'yo, saka ka palang bababa. Speaking of uh, Rondina, four service errors in that uh, uh, first set ano, from USD, DLS, you had uh, two service errors. So, sayang yung apat na naitapon ng uh, USD. Well, nagsimula na uli sila dito, nakaisa na naman. Uh, USD, the free point for Lasal. One all tayo, set number two. Takres with a strong hit. Oh, but what a save from Tiamson on the first touch. Makandili, a little too close to the net. That resulted in a block. A net and violation. A net violation as well. Kim D couldn't uh, keep her momentum. Look at this. Sa ilalim, yata tumama si uh, Kim D, not at the top. There's uh, Fajardo and Baron. Bottom deep of the net. Ooh, but another service error. And we were just talking about this for USD. That's right. They committed four in the first set. Now we've seen two at this early point in the second set. And yun, two na yun. Those are all the points of La Salle. If not for these service errors, USD could have been up by 4 nothing here. Picar, Lauren. Such improvement in terms of strength. Wow, EJ Lauda with a point there. Let's go to Bea Escudero. Eric and Anne, I was able to talk to some of the girls earlier, and I asked them, what sets them apart from the rest of the teams, and most especially USC? And they did say that they may look like a fresh-looking team. However, they still do also have the best players of Season 78. Aduke Agonsanya mentioned that every day they only strive to prove to everyone that in preparation of Season 79, they gained the maturity as well as the skills to take it one game at a time. Which is why coming into the second set of this match, the girls are reminded to be mindful of their errors and to simply keep their movements synchronized at all times. Balik sa inyo, Eric and Anne. Thanks, Bea. You'll have the confidence. We have the best players <laughs> in the UAAP. No offense to everyone else. Love your own. <laughs> you, you have to love your own, area. No offense to the other seven teams. <laughs> we got the best. Here's D, right on the line. D has been doing very well for Lasan in today's game. A lot of sets converted into points here for uh, D. Well, you mentioned ano, in their uh, last game, uh, Baron actually needed in terms of scoring, but uh, rather led in terms of scoring. But itong si uh, Kim D ngayon, bumabawi at saka talagang uh, pumuputos. Let's go to Angelique Manto. Almost closing out in the first set, the Golden Tigers is yet again are being flagged by their end game woes and service errors that the coaches have been correcting ever since in their trainings. But I would have to agree with your remark in the pregame earlier, and that the Golden Tigresses have material and that the case in point is their execution. This actually matches the coaches' observation na malalakas naman ang pyesa, pero mahina ang loo. Eric and Anne, through and through huddles, the coaches remind the girls that this is still a test of their character. From their trainings, wherein Coach Kofu made them undergo stress tests, we relive again how the team needs to find comfort in uncomfortable situations like this one, Eric and Anne. Alright, thank you, Angelique. Stress tests. <laughs> It's a good, uh, it's a good uh, point, because uh, playing is not all about skill. A lot of, uh, a lot of it also has to do with uh, how you manage pressure while you're on the court. And yung ngayong isang binanggit ni uh, EJ Laure kanina during the pregame interview, ano na ngayon kailangan nila mag-enjoy sa game. Wag nilang isipin kung sino yung mga tao sa labas, which I think actually kind of affected them when they played against Ateneo. Dalim fans din siguro ng Ateneo talagang. Uh, uh, intimidate even if they're outside the court. And CC Rodina also added that they must learn to manage the pressure. Yeah. Pressure being down, pressure na nagahabulka, uh, pressure of the opponent two points away from closing the set, and all those. USD up by one here, 6 5 with Meneses serving. Good serve. Ooh. <laughs> Can you break down how hard that was? How low to the net that second touch was by... I mean... And how she saw that there was actually that opening on the other side. But please, instant replay. Take a look at how the ball just hugs the tape of the net. Keeping it low, preventing the team from reacting uh, quicker than the ball falling down. There's one who said, he's dead in the But, you know... 
such an amazing but, volleyball but, talent. But really, a lot of you know these setters are really trained to have good peripheral vision. So, part yan ng uh, kanilang training. Rodina cross on the line. Yes. Well, USD staying ahead this time instead of trying to catch up. Uh, up by one again. 7-6, seven, set number two. And CC's got her own set of fans as well. Here inside Phil Oil Flying the Arena. Is that a new serve? She's putting on display that jump serve. Oh, she's, been, she's been doing that for quite a while. She was on the way down, but EJ Laura still managed to put it through the two-lady block. A Gatorade spike of the game, putting USD up by two. 8-6 over LaSalle, set number two. Well, the Riveros of the uh, UAAP men's uh, basketball team of DLSU, the champions, season 79 of uh, the UAAP. Supporting uh, volleyball players from the women's division this time. I was expecting that, uh, you know, there will be some who will watch, but I didn't expect the kind of crowd queued up outside and around. around literally around. around yeah, a lot of people. Of course, wanting to see this match. Take a look at the numbers of Rondina and Laura combined, whereas the rest of the team only seven. A service ace from CC Rondina, by the way, puts USD up by three now versus the defending champions. Nine, six, set number two. USD lost set number one, 25 23, in case you're just catching up with us. Dunk attempt by Majoy Barod does not cross the net, so that's a 10-6 advantage now by USD forcing Coach Ramil de Jesus to call a timeout to listen in to the Lady Spikers. Well, that was partly to stop the momentum and yeah. to obviously correct uh, Baron. As uh, you see, Judith Abil and the uh, Lady Warriors. How about how about UE? Oh, UE may have not won a yeah. game yet, but, but won I think the hearts of everyone. Definitely, in, in, in the past two games that they've played, yeah. even if they lost it, ang nakikita ng mga tao is that vast improvement when it comes to how competitive they are. And you see, if you look at the UE lineup right now, Eric, may high. Yeah. At luka laban. Uh, Laura scores for USD as uh, Coach Ramil unable to stop the momentum of the Tigresses right now. UE really giving UP a hard time earlier. Right? Yeah. They lost in straight sets, but they're the only team who gave NU a loss in a set. I guess Let's if, remember that. Yeah, and I guess if you're uh, UE, you have to like the fact, maybe it's not enough, but you have to like the fact that the teams that you play against with, you somehow push them yeah. a bit. And hindi na tulad ng dati. If, if you see UE play, people would expect that the games would be short. But this time around, mag that, you know, the teams would think twice. And you'd love to watch, I mean, you start loving the UE games because of yeah. how hard they fight, you know, they live up to that warrior, lady warrior moniker. Mm -hmm. Good save there by Rondina. Oh, that's strong. Yeah, Laura apologizing to the coaching staff. Biggest lead of USD. 11-6. But LaSalle with two straight points here. Eight serving 11. Set number two. Cheng. Bitar. Goes to Laure. That's strong again. Back to back errors. No check. Coach Kung Fu asking for a check. Our referees. Our first referee saying there's no check. 
And let's see if we have that thing on replay. Let's take a look. Ooh, there was movement by Joey Barod. Clearly on the right, to the right hand, it seems like it was the right hand. That's where the challenge system at. That's well, when definitely. it becomes important. Especially if those situations would happen at a crucial part of the set where you're going head to head. Now a double violation called on uh, the LSU. Coach Rabin is not happy. <laughs> 12 serving 9, Bikar. Ooh, again, you said my unofficial count, third service error for USD in this set. Yeah, but so far, Bikar on her role as a setter, she's had 10 excellent sets in this uh, set. Fajardo, on the other hand, has uh, 14. Fajardo coming off 30, a 35 excellent set game that win against <laughs> FEU. Uh, USD, uh, Bacres with a point there. Bigar on the other hand, 23 excellent sets in that loss versus Ateneo. USD up by 3, 13 serving 10. Bigar, Bacres. Oh, oh, and she's got the hot hand right now. Dominique Patras with a point again. This lefty. Look at that. Showing what she's got. Of course, left-handed attacker. Different angle ang binadaanan ng bola. The blockers of LaSalle should adjust. Now a four-point lead. That's too Ooh. wide for... Cortez. A little disappointment on the face of Coach Kung Fu. He knew he had a run. He had momentum. Obviously cut by that service error. That's four service errors already in. USD and just halfway through uh -huh. set number two. From the middle, Laura is blocked. Not, does not happen very often. Vanessa scores. And that was a good uh, decision by uh, Bikar. Quite risky. Kasi kita natin, no? Two blockers over there, but she gave it back. Set it up in the middle. Good, good angle for Meneses. USD so far manages to protect the lead. Five service errors, USD. That's a big problem now. Big headache for Coach Kung Fu Reyes. That's five points they gave away. Just with the service error. And even if USD has this three-point advantage, of course, if you're Coach Kung Fu, you, you'd want to have a more comfortable lead. Because nothing is safe. Mm -hmm. You're going up against the defending champions. There's a check ball. Allows USD to go to the, to the second technical timeout. First up by 4, 60-12 versus Lasalle. Uh, oh, well, the swagger when she was with DLSU and now it's with Majoy Baron. She was definitely a great leader for La Salle, one who would pick them up, especially when they were down in sets, then lift up the team, put the team on her shoulders in the Vecilio with Cha Cruz, champions in their own right in the UAP. For supporting uh, their former teammates. Luna set to come in for LaSalle replacing Cheng. Four-point lead for USD, 16-12. And again, let's go back to those five service errors in this set alone and for USD. I'm, I'm sure Coach Kung Fu will call that out, you know, uh, after this game. Ooh! 
Now, one handed set was nice, it was just too high for Ogunsanya. And we see Fajardo actually signaling to Ogunsanya kung ano ba yung play nila. She was saying, you were supposed to be in the middle. <laughs> USD back with their biggest lead at 17-12. Five points, Ogunsanya, that's picked up by Patres. Here's Rondina. Makandiri will set it up. D, block! Oh, what a play defensively, USD! All right, now things are going well for uh, USD. Even if their service is a bit shaky, blocking at the net and offense is really working for them. And USD fans rejoicing here. This is the biggest lead of the Tigers is at six. Another timeout by Coach Ramil will listen in. Well, it's been a series of points, and LaSalle was able to trim it down to three. But what's going on with the Lady Spikers? Uh, I mean, they haven't been able to overhaul this deficit against USD. Well, they need the offense to go back at it again. Nakikita natin, nahihirapan sila pumuntos. And on top of that, USD also getting more kills this time around. So, stepping up the defense and blocking would really help LaSalle at this point. Picar to Rondina. Let's see the defense. Makandili was right there. Luna again. Ooh. Over and out for LaSalle. Biggest lead again for USD at 7, 19, 12. These errors just really not helping LaSalle at this point in time. But if you're, if you're, um, you know, a team that's gonna face LaSalle soon, ito medyo makakampante ka because you're seeing the weaknesses or the vulnerability of LaSalle. Na, na, at, pwede rin pala, no? Na mapaku sila at a certain score. They're still unable to recover. And again, we go back and they have not dominated an opponent here. I mean, they may have won three sets against FU, but those are all long extended sets. 29-27 in the first set. Rodina through the block. She scores again. Again, it's the defense of LaSalle. That's lacking right now. It's not just back row defense they have to work on their front line defense as well blocking hasn't been their blocking hasn't been as active you know, as we would have expected it to be good serve Fajardo to Luna partially deflected they got a Rondina Makandili was right there good reception good dig Luna cross court picked up Picar it's gonna be a free ball if it makes it too short for Patres. Uh, Coach Kung Fu has a six point cushion here, 2014, and only needs five points to square up in sets versus the defending champions. Saga will come in. Saga was part of the starting lineup for Lasal in that win versus. FEU that is going to be strong service error for CJ Saga. Everything's just not working for LaSalle here in the second set. Sorry, check that Saga off the bench played in three sets for LaSalle in that uh, win versus FEU. Rodina, very active offensively for USD here in this set serves. Luna, Picar. They go to Laure this time. Laure! Cross court, yes! So far, things are going well for USD. So much confidence with their offense. Is it the, the defense of LaSalle that's letting up or USD offense much, much better in set number two? I think it's going hand-in-hand hand together. <laughs> 
obviously UST has stepped up when it comes to offense, but just the same, it's Nasal having a difficult time really managing and uh, unable to read the offense of UST. It's a split second slower in set number two. LaSalle hurting. Down by seven. What a save. And it's completed. What an effort by USD. Baron. Luna will try to save it. This is going to be a free ball for USD. Laure. Yes, Look at that. Biggest lead of the Tigers is at 8 23 15. And Despite all the confusion, USD managed to be composed defensively and offensively. And, and what I like about what I'm seeing with USD right now, this is exactly what EJ Lauda said in the pregame. They need to enjoy the game. And that's what we're seeing. People are smiling, they're celebrating each and every point, And it's helping them. Baron with a tip. And that violation, Baron gives USD the set point. 24-15. Oh, LaSalle has to reorganize themselves. Arina Bikar, a good server. Here comes Tiam Zon. Oh, a net violation from Dominic Patres. That's still an eight-point advantage for USD here. Eight set points for the Tigresses. 24-16. They're going to be on offense here. Coming off the serve by Kim Fajardo. Bikar. A push by Laure. Some confusion there between Laure and Cortez. Bikar to Cortez. Yes! And USD even picks up. LaSalle absorbs their first set loss in season 79 of the UAAB. 25-16 against USD in set number two. University and University of Santo Tomas here at Filo Flying B Arena in San Juan uh, set number two started off pretty much the same as set number one both teams were neck and neck but uh, somewhere down the middle uh, USD took control and we were talking about it off the air and the defense of La Salle led up a bunch of holes that USD found which allowed USD to control establish a lead and they never looked back from there and they definitely dominated that uh, second set when it comes to offense. Very high percentage when it comes to a point conversion. Doesn't matter who's in the front line, whether it's Laure, Rodina, Pacres also did some contribution when it comes to offense. Cortez uh, scored some points as well. It was just, you know, everything went well here for uh, USD. And looking at the numbers, Eric, it really speaks for itself. USD scoring 13 attack points. It's like saying La Salle not doing anything in that last set. They only scored four uh, in terms of uh, attacks. Unforced errors this time around in the second set. La Salle also had more with uh, 12 as opposed to uh, the nine of uh, nine errors of uh, USD. So a lot of things really for La Salle to look at if they look back at uh, that uh, second set. Energy was also down for La Salle. So if you're Coach Kung Reyes, you can forgive the five service errors. Yeah, <laughs> they scored 13 at that point as opposed to only four of La Salle. And somehow, somewhere in that second set, napigilan itong USD yung uh, La Salle. Pati na yung blocking, we know that La Salle is such a good blocking team, but they were able to penetrate the blockers. So fans, inside... The arena is in one and watch all over the country and all around the world. You're in for a long one here, folks. We're going to at least 
need four sets <laughs> to conclude yep. this matchup as the defending champions uh, suffer their first uh, set loss in season 79 in the hands of USD. Oh, reception error by a defensive specialist. Uh, Patricia Raspo is uh, equivalent to the first easy point of La Salle in set number three. Right now, Eric, of course, we're looking at uh, the pe some players of La Salle to really step up. Tiamzon is their top scorer right now with six points. Di Fajardo and Baron all share five points. And uh, Ogunsanya has two points. Meanwhile, if you look at the uh, UST, Rondina has already scored 10. Laure has nine. Pacres and Menezes both with four. And Lastimosa with three. So, a lot of uh, things na kailangan uh, maturn around agad ng Lasal here in the third set. Let's see. Well, they started off pretty well with two service aces from Desre Cheng. That's why they're up 2-0. Let's go to Angelique Mato reporting for USD. Eric and Anne, we may attribute the added pressure of leading the team to what has been noted as Jerry Rondina's subpar performance last game. But this girl is not looking on to how she performs, but of how she fulfills her role as the vocal leader and still the spark plug of the team. If I may quirk, Eric and Anna, ikwento niya pa nga sa akin, na kinabahan pa daw siya, na baka hindi siya masama sa lineup this season because of her teammates' vast improvement in the preseason na kanyang hinahangaan. At in her maturity, these are just a few things commendable about CC, but it shouldn't stop there as the coaches emphasized how the team shouldn't just give up points through their service errors. Tough mind lang na hindi kayo mag error just like how you execute in our trainings. Balik sa inyo, Eric and Anne. All right, thank you, Angelique. What a rally here. I can barely hear Angelique and myself <laughs> because of how excited the crowd was for that long rally. Uh, won by Nasal eventually. They're up 3-0, but again, a, a display of the offense and defense of both teams, Anne. That's right. And you know, for Lasalle, it's a good way to turn around what happened in the second set. Quick adjustment for uh, this for the ladies spikers, and even with their defense, kita natin no, walang pinalagpas na bola itong uh, defense ng Lasalle. Cheng has been serving extremely well here. Patres wanted to send a free ball. Right here on our side. <laughs> And a quick early timeout by Coach Kung Fu Rey as his team is in disarray at the start of set number three. The bomb is, I can see target here. But I'm control you. I'm going to get your action out here. I'm going to get your action out here. Paano natin, anong una natin pwedeng gawin? Guloyin natin yung server nila. Lahat yung humingi ng bola. Hindi na nagkuha niya. Paano kayo nagsimula kayo na? Hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin. Baguhin niyo yung aksyon kasi malina. Kaya tumatalas yung bola. Let's go! Let's go! Again, that service reception issue that was the problem in set number one is back. If you're to listen to the words of Coach Kung Fure as he wants Tigers has to be prepared. Ask for the ball. Chen, on the other hand, is partly praying uh, while uh, she was preparing to serve. Uh, good start for Lasan here. 4 0 after losing 25 16 in set number two. Another poor cool reception there. But Gomez finally stops the bleeding for USD. Excellent play for USD. Look at this. And that's what Cortez brings to the floor, and that quickness. She's tall and she's extremely athletic. And of course, she's had quite some experience also in the UAP. Hindi na yan bago na naglalaro dito. Barod with the point. Yes. The key players of Lasal looking to be more aggressive here in set number three after that loss. Let's go to Bea Escudero for the LSU. Eric and Anne coming into the third set against the USC of Lady Tiger says the, the Lady Spikers only continue to prove that they are still optimistic as well as they still trust each other on the floor. After trailing behind in the second set, the girls are reminded that they must fix their, their movement on the floor as well as improve their service in order to give their opponents a harder time receiving the ball. Sabi pa nga ni Coach Remed Jesus sa Lady Spikers, huwag tayo manggigal sa loob at dapat natin i-anticipate palagi ang bawat galaw nila. So as we start off the third set this afternoon, 
expect the Lady Spikers to show better defense and aggressiveness all throughout the match. Eric and Anne. All right, thank you, Bea. Well, that defense, uh, they really have to step up against the offense of USD. Uh, but USD with a couple of blocks. Uh, on the second try, DLSU scores the point. They're up by four, 6-2, set number three. If your coach Ramil, ito yung bawi na hinahanap mo agad, ano? No time for, uh, no waiting at the latter part of the third set to get those points in. Underhand set, Pacres scores a point against Chang. Pacres has scored quite a few points here for USD. Hindi madali for La Sala, no? Basahin yung... Uh, yung uh, opensa ni Pacres. Again, she's a lefty. Different angle yung kailangan bantayan ng uh, defenders ng Lasal, both in blocking and in, in, in their back row defense. And she's very strong as well. As soon as the ball is hit, it's so quick. We, we saw a couple of shots by Pacres. Di na adjust yung defensa because of how quick the ball came across the net. Rodina blocks. It wasn't a, the best setup for Rodina. As again, reception issues uh, here in the third set and for USD. Jumps on with a serve. Another reception problem that uh, USD will have to deal with. That hit the antenna, so that's an automatic error for USD. Uh, Asal is up by 5 8 3 set number three versus USD. Lady Spikers of DLSU tied one set all with the University of Santo Tomas Tigresses. And uh, that must have hurt for La Salle and 25-16 in set number two. Uh, take a look at the replay schedule. We have a women's volleyball, 10.30 p.m. Wednesdays, 10 uh, p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. And on HD, immediately after the live telecast of the women's volleyball match, which is around 6.30. If, uh, or 6, depending on how, how long, yeah, how long the how long it sets takes. are. Now, right now, a good start for the defending champs. They're up 8-3. And USD with more than a few service reception issues that they have to sort out. Here in set three, Ogunsanya asking for it. Kimbi gets it. The Kimbi scores. It's not enough that you just have one blocker going up against Kimbi. By that time, it was only Rodina. And right now, the tables uh, seem to have turned around. And uh, LaSalle much quicker, while USD's defense a step slower. The best reception we've seen so far from USD here in this third set. Allowing them to execute D with a soft touch. D tries again, cross court. Picar was there, Pacres will set it up for Rodina. Ooh. He tried to go cross, but it was too low. Time out here by Coach Kung Fu Reyes. His team down by seven, the biggest lead of Lasal in set number three. We'll listen in to USD. <laughs> setup coach Kung Fures was talking about was again the reception Father Ermito de Sagon of uh, the board of USD Coach Kung Fu of course trying to first address the basics Tama naman ano yung naging problema nila eh. if they get a good pass they have material they can actually you know uh, execute good plays pero hirap sila ngayon <laughs> Lucky break there. Picar 
over received it. But Dina Tanchan is a of player. Meneses tried to reach it. And take a look at this is where it started. Picar. Meneses Ooh. didn't actually touch it. And then it's been over. Oh, nalito na rin ang depensa ng Lasal. Oh, it's a 4-10. Set number three. And from USD standpoint, what a serve by Pacquiao. A single block. Not good enough for Kim D. And this is what Coach Kung Fu was reminding uh, Vanessa's of earlier. No kailangan. Humabol, but in this case, hindi ulit nakahabol si uh, Vineses, but uh, good job to the to Ogon Sanya. Kasi she was able to get the blocker to commit to her. Picar, Vineses, Labawe, Vineses with the elbow, Raspo with the hit. Uh, Fajardo, uh, Chang is rejected. Oh, Gonsanya tried to dump it, but it was too sharp and too steep. USD trailing by six, five serving eleven. Fajardo underhand. Cheng off speed, yes. Good read by Cheng on the defense of USD. And see Coach Kung Fu, you're not seeing it on your screens, but he's on the case of CC Rondina right now for a couple of errors by Rondina. And in fact, Coach Kung Fu is ready to sub her with Sandoval, who has the number of CC already and uh, awaiting instructions to come in. Rondina, that's going to be out from Barol. Ooh, these errors, Coach Ramil is not liking on the sidelines. See Coach Ramil is umiiling. Well, a solid, far better position now than in set number two, and they're up by six. USD uh, hasn't been any sign that they're turning it around. Rondina has really been struggling after a good second set. Uh, she finished with 10 points. Uh, she's struggling right now in set number three. Can't seem to get uh, things right. Well, how important is it, and how much of a factor is it to get the third set if you're one set all after two sets? I think third set, if you get the two set advantage, it will be more comfortable coming into the fourth set. Mindset wise, um, and also parang relieving your team of the pressure. Dal kung hindi ikaw yung magahabol, and you have to play all the way up to the up to the fifth set, which is a much shorter set. So if you're USD and you're up against Lasal, you definitely want to take this third set. Well, Lasal is in a good position, but USD is still not out of it. They're just gotta defend better. That's according to Coach Kung Fu. He was signaling dikit pa to uh, Cortez and Pacres at the net. So saan do posit yung bola yun? Eh, puto sa gitna. This is also a more uh, relaxed uh, Lasal team that we're seeing right now. Good serve from Fajardo. There's uh, Laure. Fajardo will set it up. Jumps on. Rasmo to Laure again. Partially blocked and too far for Yamzon to get it up. Cortez will come out uh, and Virai, Kaik Virai will come in for USD. Or Kate Virai out of Kapite, just in her second year for the Tigresses. Baron had to readjust. Meneses with a tip on the second touch. Tiamzon block, better defense by USD. Makandili back to Tiamzon through the block and she scores. The block. Yeah, yes. They're going to love the tenacity of the you know, TMT. Mm -hmm. They're really never giving up.
Is there an intimidation factor, and pag naplaka na, you may not want to do it again? There is actually that uh, mental effect pag naplaka para mawawalan ka ng loob. But you know, a lot of the coaches, of course, train their players to uh, you know overcome that right away. And you'd see a lot of the setters pagkatapos maplak yan. Bibigay yan ulit sa, dun sa spiker na yun. Lock, oh. First two sets, 17 attack points through Dina Laure. This set, one attack point. Oh, wow. Much less aggressive. I don't know. That's the reason why they are down. 16-9 versus La Salle here in set number three. Lasal in total control of set number three after a good start uh, with a series of service aces. Uh, take a look at the upcoming games of the defending champions. You be a good after Valentine's. So oh. Great Valentine's Day for everyone. <laughs> and then NU, Adamson, UE, and then the big Ateneo Lasal on March 4. That's the end of the first round of eliminations. Tiamzon with a good serve. Meneses barely touching the ball on the third touch. There is Kimpi again. A lot of sets being given by uh, Fahar Dotto D. He's been effective here in this set. Needed Mahuli ng uh, blockers ng USD at ng si Kim D. Well, Tim Francisco, a new entry to replace uh, Meneses. Biggest lead, or back to the biggest lead of La Salle at eight. Oh, make that the biggest lead now at nine points. 18 9 La Salle. What a way to bounce back and after losing 25 16 in set number two. And this is a very good turnaround for uh, La Salle. Ito yung sinasabi natin ng second set, hindi sila organized, they seem. You know, they, they lack the confidence, but here in the third set, definitely much better showing. My question then is, is USD, or are they still in a position, as you see the score or the point by Pacres there, is USD still, still in a good position to come back here in set number three, down by eight? Well, malayo pa, the set is not yet over, but it won't come easy. If they want to come back here in this set, they have to do something about it now. Thing is, Laura is in the back row. She's still scoring, but they will need the help of Rotina, who's been off in this uh, third set. C500 hustle play of the game. Dig by Patres. And that was the point scored by Laura. But take a look at Nasal. Take a look at Jamson almost climbing to the first row. Well, she didn't catch there, but she almost climbed up to the first row right there. Two straight points by USD. Let's see if this is the start of a comeback. Fajardo, back set, D. Picked up, one-handed by Laura. Here comes Rondina. There's a whistle on the play. Double call on USD. On the backrest touch. Let's take a look. Great save by Laura. And Bacris will try to set it up. And there was a bit of a spin in that setup, so Inawaga ng double. I'm sure a lot of the viewers are wondering about that spin, and because it happens all so quickly, but it, for the first referee, just so that the viewers don't see it again. again nila, because you see that spin on the ball, or matagal ba sa kamay nung nagset yung bola. Take a look at. Last play here. Uh, Rodina trying to get herself going. Uh, some substitutions here as Mitch Cobb will come in for Lasal. But for USD, more importantly, we didn't see Lastimosa at all in the second set. That second set win by a USD. She's back now after sitting out the second set. So let's see if she can have an effect here. Down by seven, USD. And 
Well, let's see both coaches making sure they have three attackers in the front line. Both setters now back row. Ooh. Oh, wow. Not a good time. Well, there's never a good time for a service error, but not when you were down by seven. Now you're down by eight. Take a look at uh, Kim B's performance. First two sets, got four points. Here in the set, a little bit better with five, but, uh, you know, Lasal is in a good position with his eight-point lead. One-handed set by Campanos. The push by Cortez for the point. You know, still, it's not uh, impossible for USD to still tie it with Lasal. But they have to play uh, flawless volleyball from this point on. And they're given a sort of a mini break here by Lasal as uh, Baron scores because Mitch Cobb a young setter uh, is in replacing Kim Fajardo. And this is, if you're USD, this is the best opportunity to stop the offense with a young setter in the lineup for Lasal. But Cheng is back on the service area. This is where Lasal started this rampage in the third set. He's been uh, consistent at the service line. Laure, oh, that oh. hit the antennas. Nothing going right for USD. Lead is back to nine for LaSalle. Look at DJ Laura frustrated obviously with the outcome here of the third set. Yeah, they had a beautiful second set to Anna. No? Where they were in control and everything was just going right for USD. What, is, what does it do uh, to, to the player, to the team, when you have such a good second set and then you come back and this is what happens, you get demolished in the third set. Well, one thing we're not seeing, these girls are not smiling and that's what uh, they had going in the second set. They were definitely enjoying the set. But how can you smile if you know that you're, you're this down? You're down by points. 10. Uh, only a bright spot for USD, those easy points they're getting off the service error and unforced errors of DLSU. But Lasal only needing two points. USD down by nine. Nastimosa well rested after not seeing action in the second set. Cortez. Good dig. Cobb will set it up. Cabanos to Laure. Laure blocked and again for the key players of USD and nothing. I mean, Rodina and Laure have been shut down here in set number three. And uh, that's why talagang damang dama ng USD know how hard it is to score the points. In the earlier sets, it was really Laure carrying the load for USD. Pacres also had her share earlier, but uh, now in this set, Talagang uh, hirap pati si Laure. So, this has been a very difficult one uh, to watch, I'm pretty sure, for uh, Coach Kung Fu. And the fans as well. Oh, wow, and it continues. Laure, no space to get that shot through. What an excellent block by Lasal at the net. And absolutely shut down the Tigresses after losing in the second set, 25-16. They bounce back. And win big, 25-14, set number three to go up two sets to one versus USD. For the fourth set, uh, earlier we saw how LaSalle won 25-14 in that uh, third set. It was a good turnaround for DLSU coming off that loss in the second set. USD struggled in that uh, last set, Not nothing going for them. Rondina, 
Lowry couldn't score the points. But LaSalle overall dominated. More organized play. Better offense, better defense. Really a big struggle there for uh, UST. And for Coach Ramil, of course, it was a good turnaround for the team. Magandang bawi yung ka kanilang ginawa in the third set. Now they're up uh, two sets to one against uh, UST. A lot of frustration. No more joy seen in the faces of uh, the Tigresses as we take a look at our statistics for set number three. 12 attack points for LaSalle, 11 for UST. Blocking was present for LaSalle. They scored four points in that department. Two service aces for DLSU. They uh, scored three points from unforced errors. But uh, again, UST overall needs to step up here in the fourth set. They need to find a way to reorganize themselves that spark plug you know that, that's what they need at this point in time a spark plug to get them going again well USD had an awesome second set but it, they, they seem to have lost like what you said and you spark on the other hand La Salle really just stepped it up in all aspects of volleyball in set uh, number three from serving to setting to attacking and even in blocking and we saw that um, in the final few plays of uh, set number two where they just again prevented anything from coming through mm -hmm. and you didn't know Eric ano, kapag na block ka ba, what does it do to the attacker and usually if you're a coach you expect them to come back right away pero doon nahirapan yung USD dahil sa dami ng block at the net defense ng Lasal nahirapan sila makapag-penetrate ng blockers at makabawi agad well we saw that with Rotina with Laure let's see if these guys are unshaken and uh, come come back strong here in set number 3 Pacres and this girl, Kim D, was mm. extremely active yeah. in set number three. Yeah. And she was just non-stop punishing USD with each and every shot. Tiam Zon. Long rally. Oh, and that won by Lasan. Let's go to Bea Escudero. Eric and Anna, if there was one thing the Lady Spikers were constantly reminded of in the huddle, it was that they can only win if they give their attitude and power on the floor. And that is exactly what we saw in the third set this afternoon. Although they do admit that USC is known for their high balls and power, the Lady Spikers are coming to the fourth set with the same mindset that they can just be that they can just be just as powerful with their attacks and defense if they work as a team. So Eric and Anne hoping to continue their winning streak. The Lady Spikers will only prove to everyone in the arena that they are not a team to mess with. Back to you, Eric and Anne. All right, thank you, Bea. Well, they really showed everyone that in the third set after losing 25-16, 25-14 was how they took out USD. And Rasmo struggling, had to be pulled out. And Pinasok si Rivera, second libero, he coached Kung Reyes. But same result, it's been that problem as you just saw a PLDT ultra fun serve by Kim Fajardo. The problem of USD start, starts from reception, and That's right, and the, so far they haven't been able to adjust. We heard Coach Kung Fu point that out earlier. They haven't been consistent. Let's go to Angelique Mato. Taking notes from the team's slow start in that challenging third set, the Golden Tigresses are now here to channel in their basics and brew one movement at a time. Stemming from a good reception to Anakpar setting down to their spikes, it's also all about the little movement that affects their place all the more the entirety of this game. Eric and Anne, sa mga ensayo pa lamang nila, ay dinikdik na ng husto ni Coach Kung Fu ang kanyang mga manlalaro in every aspect there is in the game. Kaya hindi maiwasan ni Coach Kung Fu na mailabas ang kanyang frustration over how his team has seemingly given up in that third set. Now, what he wants is for the team to remember the physical pressure in those trainings he has given to them and their reaction to these, hoping to transcend his fireness and tapang to the Tigresses so as to hopefully end the set in their favor, Eric and Anne. All right, thank you, Angelique. Uh, what a long rally won by uh, La Salas. Go listen to Coach Kung Fu. There's no problem with the attack. We're blocked. We're not going to attack. 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 We're not going
Well, both teams started off the way they did in the third set. La Salle with so much aggressiveness, USD with passive volleyball play, which is why si Coach Kufunga is extremely upset. Sabi niya, humingi kayo ng bola, mag-attract kayo ng, ng blockers. But what a rally in the last sequence. Each and every spike of USD was just rejected at. That's right, and that's where uh, yun yung nagkulang sa La Salle when they lost a set earlier. Net defense wasn't there, but now it's on point. They, they're not letting go of any of the plays of USD. Whereas La Salle, on the other hand, unchallenged at the net with Jump Zone. With a clear path. Take a look at your at, uh, the McFreeze instant replay. That ball just untouched from Jem Zone all the way down to the floor. 6 0 start for La Salle. It's set number four. Finally, Finally USD manages to break through an intense blocking of La Salle with Pacres scoring. You know, somehow, from all the sets that Pacres has played, it looks like Pacres is uh, you know, La Salle is having a hard time really reading her ball. Pagating sa blocking, pagating sa defense. I think, you know, kailangan magbigay pa ng uh, mas maraming sets para kay uh, Pacres. That's if they get a good pass. Oh, Rondina blocked again. And you can tell on the face of CC Rondina, like, what do I, what else do I have to do? She's clearly frustrated at everything that she does. Gets rejected. And Rondina is blocked and replaced now. Carla Sandoval seeing action for the first time for USD in this game. Better reception, Picard to Pacres, blocked by Kyung Zon. For this time... 8-1 La Salle, the only point of USD from that single spike from Dominic Pacres. We go to our first technical timeout of set number four. Flat-footed Tigresses in the last two sets, and they are down 8-1. Let's take a look at the remaining games of uh, USD in the first round of eliminations. They take on UE on the 15th, UP on the 19th, Adamson, NU, and FEU. It doesn't get any easier. Uh, well, that's because no, there's no easy team in uh, Season 79 of the UAP Women's Volleyball uh, Tournament. Most of those games will be here at the uh, Fail Oil Flying B Arena, FYI. Set number four, La Salle up two sets to one, and they're up 8-1 in set four. Fajardo to Ogun Sanya. Picard to the other side, Sandoval, her first attack. And she is turned away again by the tremendous defense of DLSU. That's uh, DLSU's seventh block point for this match just impenetrable defense at the net by the lady spikers they should just change their name of lady defenders <laughs> for the way the last two sets have been going only two points for usd and this set four la salle already with nine You know, Eric, what, what's interesting is that if we look at all the points that both teams have scored in all of the sets, USD actually has more in terms of offense. They scored 40 points already in this match. La Salle only has 33. Pero saan lumamang ang La Salle? It's really with their blocking. They scored 7, USD only 2. Service aces, La Salle has 9 service aces. USD only has 2. And it goes to show how USD struggled earlier when it comes to uh, getting a good pass. And unforced errors as well. USD with 25. 
And the lot make that 26 with the Sandoval service error kanina lang. D. Cortez. Fajardo Ogutsanya. And Hassan scores again. And the Sandoval experiment not materializing. Rodina is back on the floor. 11 serving 2. USD needs to find themselves the Tigresses that won set number 2. If they have plans of extending this match to a set 5. Makandili falling down. First free ball for USD in this set. Laure off speed. Still alive. Great pancake save by Fajardo. Cortez. Laure all blocked again. Lasal blocking on point. And it's all about the timing, the timing of the blockers. Look at that. And the two key players of USD and have again been neutralized by the defense of Lasal. That's Rodina and Laure. And if 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 any, that's what uh, you know is making Lasal's life easy at this point in time. The fact that you've been able to contain those two players that uh, USD is expecting. To deliver the points. Napadali rin itong uh, buhay ng nasala no? in, in the last week. Pinanabaho lang nila yung dalawang player na yun na napigilan nila. Now, they have this big lead. They seem, they seem to have found the formula. And a service ace there by Lasal. PLDT Ultra Fun serve 42. Lasal. Timeout by Coach Kung Fu Reyes as he tries to sort this out for the Tigers. Wala, ulitin natin, kailangan hawakan yung bawat teammates nyo. Kayo magdadala dyan. Kayo yung magkocontrol ngayon. Anong importante ngayon? Let's go, 42. Ano kailangan gawin? Mag-isip muna na ngayon. We were talking at about uh, the pressure that USD faces and how they need to manage it. Uh, again, they're back in the same situation at under pressure, down by 12, and they need to step up and face their demons, so to speak, and come back in this set. Well, let's see if that huddle will help USD. Well, this free ball is not going to help. Oh, Sanya, an easy point. Would have been an easy point, but a net violation. A little too excited to see Duke Obutsanya with an error at the net. Service aces. Five for Fajardo, the rest of the team is four. Well, actually, now LaSalle has ten service aces. Nine block points. Kate Viray is in the game for USD. Good serve. What a dig from Makandili. Pushed by Cheng. Block pushed again. Capano sets it up. Cortez will score. But these points are far and few between for USD. And has it been just reception if you know for the sake of the viewers? Has it been just reception for USD and that's been the root of their problems in set number three? It's been the root of their problem, but I think one thing to add is that even if they get uh, a set, nahihirapan sila. And we've seen that in, in, in one of the rallies earlier where LaSalle just kept on blocking them. So they're unable to, uh, you know, put the ball over. Unlike in the second set where they won, kita naman natin, ano, nahirapan talaga yung blockers ng LaSalle. And they were able to find the open holes on the defense of LaSalle. But you got to credit the quick adjustment by the defenders of LaSalle. Oh, yeah. 
uh, Baron, uh, Kim D, Fajardo, Gunsanya, but how easily they adjusted after USD with Si uh, Rodina and Laure took control in the second set. They just stopped both key players of USD to dominate the last two sets. And they're up 16-4 here in set number four. Another family day here at the Bill Oil Flying V Arena in San Juan. And again, thank you to all the fans who came over to check out uh, their favorite UAP volleyball stars. Uh, and, uh, they came out in the heat of the sun, a hot Saturday afternoon, but uh, didn't matter. Again, long queue at the Bill Oil Flying V Arena just to check out uh, these awesome, talented ladies. And they did not disappoint starting with that game between UP and UEN. Uh, such a close fight. Uh, Kanina and uh, tremendous heart by the uh, Lady Red Warriors and amazing how they're much more improved not just on offense but in defense as well. And yeah, like what you said, I think a new fan favor favorite. No? Definitely. They've really made uh, uh, a lot of people turn their heads. Mm -hmm. Take a look at uh, the Lady Warriors, uh, but right now. La Salle is just running away with this after losing 25-16 in the second set, their first set loss of the season. And they really, that, yeah, that hit them hard and I think it, they took it personally and just... This is their comeback. Yeah. <laughs> what a statement by La Salle in the third and fourth set. Good dig by Tiamzon. Cheng with a free ball. Capanos and finally a good setup there, a little combination to free up Pirai for the point on an attack. And this is rare, I don't know, considering almost all of the attacks of USD were blocked by La Salle. But uh, you know, they should really maximize all the opportunities. It's one of the few times that they got a good pass, except as a setter. So it is a good call to uh, deliver that play. Cabanos to Meneses, blocked by Ogunsanya. Cortez to Laure. Macantini was right there, just couldn't get it up. Would you say Lasalo was a little bit too relaxed in the second set? Possibly they are. After uh, that win in the first set. Fajardo, Ogunsanya. Capanos. Too strong for Virai. They're asking for a check. And yes, there is. Cheng. Cheng save. saying, I didn't touch it. Take a look. I don't know. Tough to, tough to say. Uh -huh. If that's the only angle, it's tough. It's inconclusive on our part. Good serve by Cortez. Here comes Cheng. Babawe. Nice dig. From Rondina, Laure. Back row, Yamzon. Cabano sets it up. Go to Virai. Lefty. That's on the line, yes. So far, Virai getting UST the much needed points here in the fourth. Well, Coach Kukure is with a different perspective using Virai as another option here on offense. Timeout. She, Coach Ramil De Jesus will listen to La Salle. <laughs> Seventeen-eight. It's a nine-point lead for Hassan. 
man. You gotta admire again. Coach Ramil, nakakarami na sila. Nabang na lang tayo, nag-nine. Konti na lang. Konti na lang. <laughs> no, but I guess it's his way of also ensuring na yung uh, momentum, ano, malipat sa kanilang side. Oh, uh, let's see kung makakapunta sa Gadan Lasal. He's looking at uh, his team being more aggressive in this set. Oh, what a nice dig by Makandili. Jamzon had to readjust before going up. Meneses dump Makandili just a half second too late. And Duna will commit to replace Chang. USD continues to chip away slowly at this what was once a 12-point advantage for La Salle. Dump on the one to play. Ooh, set was too low for Meneses. That was a tough play for Meneses. Nobody was at the net defensively. She had everything. I mean, just had to put the ball away and uh, hit the net. Good pass there for USD. Meneses. Cabanos will set it up. Viray. Fajardo to Baron. Nice anticipation by Meneses, but it's still alive. Luna. That hit the tape of the net. Lasal slowing down a bit here in the fourth set. But they are still in control. They're up by eight. Again, what Coach Ramil is looking for is aggressiveness from his players. Well, he wants that killer instinct mm -hmm. from his dis uh, defending champs. Dump attempt again. Fajardo picked up. Good anticipation by USD. And Hirai has been the spark plug for USD. And it's set number four. Maganda yung hugot ni Coach Kung Fu dito kay Hirai. Caitlin Viray, 18 years old, out of Nazareth School of National University from Cavite. Luna, good block by Viray. Meneses! Oh, oh but Chamzon was right there. D. Oh, wait a minute. The stepping. Point. Yeah. Yep, stepping called on uh, Kim D. She's a back row attacker and she stepped on the line. That's why Makita natin, the most back row attackers really look at the line before they jump. There's the foot right on the line from Kim D. That 12 point lead by Nassau sliced right down the middle by USD. They're only down by six now. And the fans of USD coming alive here, they were. They were shut down like the way the players were shut down by Lasad here, but they're alive and they're trying to pump up these Tigresses. 12 serving 18. Let's see if that timeout will help Lasal recover. Luna against a three oh. lady block. No way that was going through. This is a good shuffle for Coach uh, Kung Fu. Take a look at the block on Luna, but an interesting substitution here by Coach De Jesus. She, he has two setters in the lineup of Fajardo and Cobb. But again, we know Fajardo can actually attack. A free ball here for USD. And this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Makadili with a pancake save. Luna. Rasmo is right there. Capanos goes to Rondina, tips it, and gets the point. 
Oh, what a run here by USD. Just when it looked like they were down and out. And courtesy of Gate Lindberai and the setting of Alex Capanos. Uh, USD is on a, on the comeback trail here. Luna will step out. The Cheng will come back in for La Salle. And to the man, si Coach uh, Ramin De Jesus, his turn to look for combinations mm -hmm. because his magic has rubbed off. Uh, let's see if this combination will work as Laure sends that one out. But here, Again, there's never a good time for the service errors, but not when you're just on the way up. Sayang because the momentum is already yeah. on their side. La Salle still finding what it will take for them to get those points in. Dahil ang laki nung lamang nila, pero napakong sila at 19. Rondina in the middle, block. Rasmo chasing for it. Rondina. Cobb will set it up. Parod. Yes! Two straight points for DLSU, and they are back up by six. Barod has actually been silent. You know, in this match, we haven't uh, seen much from her. Of course, expectations are high coming from that uh, first game that they've played. That's out for Cheng. And USD needed that. He needed a break. And they're going to need a couple more. They're down by five. Lasal needs five to win the match. Oh, not a good reception. Oh, yes. The on, blocked Makandili. So an easy point for USD. Another break. We, we said that the Sal or make that USD needs a couple of breaks. Well, they got it. And there's something about Virai also. Yeah, actually. She has a very positive effect on USD. Like a lucky charm for Coach Kung Fu Reyes. Cobb will set it up. Take a look at Fajardo. Attacking, she will do it all for her team. And look at this. And the young Tinatago, uh, the coach Ramil. But of course, we know Fajardo can really pack some punch when it comes to offense. We've seen her come up with a couple of spikes uh, back uh, when she started out, but we've never seen LaSalle with two setters on the floor up until today. Oh, but we see some. Substitutions here? Oh no. Well, they wanna they wanna get Kim D in, but uh, not anymore. Se second referee says it's too late. They want to sub out Cobb. Okay, so para nagkakagulo ngayon yung Lasal in their rotation. Yellow card. Delay of game. Delay of game. Ish, uh, first referee issues them a yellow card. This is the thing, you know. It's it's. Uh... <laughs> they really want to get Kim D in, but again. Well, they have to because they would want the height in front. Mm -hmm. But 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 now they have two spikers and Cobb in front. It will be an it will be a disadvantage when it comes to blocking. It will be a disadvantage when it comes to offense. But they can do that in the next uh, play. Oh, oh. Ooh, yes. Down the line. And now the substitution uh, can be accomplished by La Sala. Skimby comes in for Cobb. And you see Coach Rami just scratching his head. <laughs> I guess that, that substitution caused some confusion. Yeah. USD needs good serves. They got one there. USD within four. Oh, that's too oh. low. For Rondina. Yung uh, timing ng talo ni Rondina was for a high set, high open set. Picard apologizing to Rondina, saying it was my bad. Lead is five for La Salle. They only need three points to win the match. Majoy Baron with a serve. Rondina, better setup, better result for USD. Ten spots. 
moment, the moments for USD fans here. Erdim is on the comeback trail. Carla Sandoval on your screens, barely saw action in this match. The biggest lead of Lasal was 12 here in the fourth set. Uh, Lasal is up two sets to one. Lost the second set against USD. 25 16, but won the third set 25 14. That's out. Kim D not successful that time. They're saying it was in. But the first referee says it was out. No challenge, of course. All we can hope for is a replay. Yeah, the good seed loss. Yeah. Good serve. Ogun Sanya block. Over received oh. and Cortez puts it away. USD with it two after being down by 12. USD off to a good run, slowly but surely, actually. That's how they they approached it here in the fourth set. They capitalized on all these errors coming from the La Salle side. What a fight back here by the Tigresses. Good serve again. Fajardo. D in the middle. Puts it away. Good misdirection by Ogunsanya. A free up Kim D. Lead is three for La Salle. The defending champions two points away from getting their second win of the season. Good first ball for USD. Ooh, through Ooh, the block. Pappas. That's pure power on that left arm. One common thing that has worked for USD in the last couple of sets, the lefties, has, they've yeah. delivered the points. Both uh, Birai and uh, Pappas. Left-handed attackers. Big question now, and can they stop LaSalle from scoring? Ooh. How can they do that, Eric, if They'll send the ball long. And that's match point for LaSalle, 24-21. Would have been such a big waste. Dahil ang ganda ng hinabol ng USD here in, in this set. Underhand set for Laure. Jamzon picks it up. LaSalle looking to put it away. Chang with a dump. Picar will set it up. Here comes Laura in the middle. She saves a match point. Not yet over, sabi ng USD. Well, Cortez to serve, and this has been the Achilles heel of USD. Serving, they gave away the last one, which sent USD to match point. Let's see what Cortez does here. Good serve. Fajardo. A little too far for Cheng. Still alive! Ooh. Desley Cheng finishes it off for the defending champions. As the fans celebrate, Lasal uh, continuing to be undefeated. The reception wasn't perfect, but Kim Fajardo connecting with Desley Cheng for the finish. And you got to credit USD though, what a comeback after being down by as much as 12 in the fourth set. They've been very steady here in the fourth set. Ang ganda nung habol nila, but uh, the end game just wasn't there. For Lasal, it probably wasn't the most ideal way for them to win. Dahil, uh, yun nga, kahit manalo sila, umihiling-hiling pa rin si Coach Ramil. Uh, they had a big lead na habol sila. Still, some things to uh, work on. I'm sure you didn't say he negotiated, but it's still a win today. And uh, of course, there's our confirmation of the uh -huh. four-set win by La Salle. They, they suffered their first defeat in a set this season uh, against USD in the second, but they finished off uh, USD in four. And our Gatorade Player of the Game is Kim D. Oh, what a performance there. We we had so many other choices, and I mean, Chamzon played well. Fajardo played extremely well as uh, as well, but Kim D, uh, what an anchor here after uh, playing uh, second fiddle to Baron in 
their first win of the season. Definitely, uh, she's provided 16 points uh, in this match, and we've seen how uh, she delivered those points in crucial parts of the game. So, uh, and what a smile from ear uh -huh. to ear.